This is the video for linear file. Here in the blue note box it says, maximize the income given the price, requirements, and limits. Well, down here we see the prices. We see a matrix of requirements. And over here we see a column for the on hand for each part. There can be up to 12 items, and each item can require up to 12 parts. You enter the item count and part count. Right now it says under item count there are five, and we see five columns, and a part count of four, we see four rows. Enter the price for each item, and the on hand quantity for each part. Enter the values in the orange boxes. Well, here we see the prices entered in these orange boxes, and over here we see the on-hand limits in these orange boxes. Click on the orange box to make it active, then enter the value in the box. Well, right now we see that 60 here is active. When you have entered all of the data, Click on Solve to get the item quantities that maximize the income. Well, I'll click on Solve, although it already had solved it and had the quantities over here. There are 20 files, 0 to 19, and here's where the file number is entered. It says click Next. When the problem is solved, it is saved in its local storage file. You can recall the problem in the future. Well, that is when this data is being saved in the local storage area for this browser that you're using. And it's stored in location zero. The maximum is found by using the simplex method for linear programming. As the problem is solved, the tableaus are saved. Click on View Tableaus to see them. So I'll click on View Tableaus. Enter the tableau's number in the orange box marked Show Tableau Number. If too high, it goes to the highest number. Well, here we see it says for Tableau 1. Down here we see Tableau 1. Next it says the tableau's income, selected column, and selected row will be shown. It will also show the previous tableau. And here we see we ask for tableau 1. It also shows the previous one, tableau 0, where we see that the problem was defined in the simplex method. Also down here, after Tableau 1 was done, the income is 890, and it said use Column 3, Row 3, and we see up here Column 3 had the highest margin value. The last row is for the margin values, which are used to select the item. Now we're going to click Next. There is a slack item, column that is, for each one of the parts. The last column is for quantities. Well, here we see in the tableau, we have here, after the items are given, we have the, the columns for the slack of each part, and at the end we have the quantities. If the solve and save box does not appear, it is for one or more of the following reasons. Well, let's go back and look at the problem again. We'll hit return here. Here is our problem. An item does not have a price. An item does not have any requirements. Well, here are the prices. Here are the requirements. Also, a part does not have any requirements. All right, or a part does not have an on-hand quantity, that's over here. When one of these errors occurs, 
one or more red marks will be shown and the income will be red highlighted. Here's where the income is. And any one of these areas could be red highlighted showing that it isn't there. The result values are rounded and very small values are set to zero. Click next for alpha notation note. All right, we'll click next. This is going to be about alpha notation. I'm going to go to view the tableaus because it used alpha notation. Program uses alpha notation for decimal places. Letters of the alphabet are used for powers of 10. Lowercase letters for negative powers, uppercase letters for positive powers. And it says click the green box. But first I want you to see here we have capital letter A's. And down here after the first tableau was made, we see some B's, A's, capital A's, and so forth. That's the alpha notation. Going to go back now, and we're going to click here on the green box to show the alpha notation. Alpha notation for powers of 10. Letters of the alphabet are used to re represent the powers of 10. And here an example, 1, 2, 3, 4, followed by a lowercase c, is really 1.234. 1, 2, 3, 4 with lowercase b is 1, 2.34. And with an a, there's one decimal place. And if there's no letter at all, there are no decimal places. Over here, it says a capital letter c means it's followed by three zeros. So it's one, two, three, four, zero, zero, zero. A capital B means the number is followed with two zeros. And a capital A, one zero, and again, no letter, no zeros. Lowercase letters, minus powers of 10. Uppercase letters, plus powers of 10. And over here is a chart that it goes A minus one, up to Z in lowercase minus 26. In uppercase A, 1, capital Z, 26. That's the alpha notation. Now the alpha notation is used so that the columns of values are clearly shown. So here we're going to return here and we're going to go to the tableaus because this is where it's most important. See everything is in nice columns because alpha notation was used. All right, that's the information about the linear file. Now we're going to go to its program. I'm going to click on program in the red stripe. Here is the main program for linear programming, the linear file. Over here we see that there's the linear programming is the title for the main program. There are three sub-programs. One is for your answer, the other is for the program solution where it's using the simplex method, and the last is where it reads and writes your file to local storage. Up here at the top in the blue boxes it says you can execute the application again, go back to where we were, Save the application, that will be to one of 20 letters, A to T. Create a new application, create a new subprogram. There can be up to nine subprograms. The rest of these blue boxes are used to copy instructions. These are instructions over here. Within this program, or within this application, or between applications. Down below here in these brown boxes, there are tools to be used in programming. It'll list the values for you, the text for you, change the names of everything, and have comments and captions, even tell you about ASCII and how to make colors. Then below this, there is an application or videos that will show you how to create 
an application all the way how to make an HTML file for your application. These are YouTube videos. Below that there is an application that will show you the use of all of the actions in this P code. This first column here labeled actions are P code actions. Then below that there is the list of HTML5 YouTube videos that explain how to use this P code. First ones are about instructions and values and text and so forth. Things you need to know to understand this P code. Now I'm going to click back on execute the application. We go back to where we were. At the bottom here we see start app A through T. If you had gone to program and changed this application, you could have saved it to one of these letters. And here is where you would go then to run the application. If you clicked on A here, it would run the version of this program that you saved under A. Below that is a list of HTML5 P code apps. Here is the list, or part of the list anyway. Alright, this is the end of the video on Linear File.